start off today by saying happy wonderful birthday to my daughter, Lydia. This is her solar return. I'm so excited to be able to share the reading for today. Happy Wednesday to my beautiful daughter and all those that are celebrating a birthday today. This is Tarot, The Witch's Tradition with Michelle Renee. Thank you. Well, I've got my wonderful brew here, my witch's brew, coffee. I do coffee and tea throughout the day. Coffee early, early, and then tea magically throughout the day. And mm, taking a sip of that, we're going to go ahead and get into this card to read. It is with the Chrysalis Tarot, Holly Sierra. And I love this. I'm, I hope that I'll be able to uh, share time with her to discover the development of this tarot as well as her illustrator. And I'll share that uh, tomorrow. However, the first card that I pulled is the Pro Pilgrim, the Page of Scrolls. There you go. And the scrolls represent our wands. Very good. Second card is the Five of Mirrors. The mirrors represent our cups. The next card is LP, the star. Look gorgeous. I think it's even more gorgeous because my daughter loves um, unicorns. <laughs> and five of stones, however, this one showed up reverse. I'll show it, show it to you that way. There you go. Gorgeous. Turning it different angles so that you can see that card. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this read. Beautiful. Page of Pilgrims. The page is connected to um, the attitude of youthfulness, spontaneity, and new fresh ideas. And so um, this is this card represents um, being ready to embark on new and fresh ideas, fresh creative thought. And then actually um, not fighting against that process, literally be in the, in the movement of creation, in the spontaneity of it, and the fun of it. And it's, and it's connected to what you are already enveloped in. Not so much that you have to leave what you're doing because people wonder, well, am I supposed to leave what I'm doing when I've, I've started something? It, it's not about leaving what you're doing. It's about finding the life in where you're at and creating something amazing in that experience. Five of mirrors. So here we're dealing with changing how you um, communicate and and how those relationships are um, that you are are that you have created. So here in this aspect. With the page, we're uh, we're creating new ideas. We're creating new, uh, spontaneous, fun experiences in our relationship. So, if the relationship and the communication that you had had has been um, really heavy and taxing and and stressful, and uh, granted, we've had a the past year, 2020, very stressful conversations and relationships um, because of the nature of what we've been going through. And so we're now embarking on something a lot lighter and also self-reflection because the cups um, holds information and it holds communication. So it's about you expanding and getting past um, a ne negative aspect and then also be willing to change. Sometimes we say in ourselves, um, this is who I am <clears throat> and I'm never going to change. And you've got to deal with it. Or if, if you can't deal with you, you're not flying with me. Right. But that's this card, the five of mirrors, is not saying that it's saying it really is about personal reflection. What can you change within yourself so that you can evolve with the people that you're with and, and, communicate better with those people. And why do we know that's the case? Is because the, the star pops up and the star is about divine wisdom, divine uh, communication between yourself and and what you consider your representation of wisdom. And so wisdom might uh, show you that 
certain things that you've done in the past um, may have been fun, but have they yielded you the best result? Even though we don't want to take anything away from our life experiences because they make us who we are now. However, they are to teach us. Well, that thing didn't work or that communication didn't work, or that style didn't work. So we have to open up to become um, a better evolved person. And here it's the five of stones, however, it's the reverse. So what I'm going to say is this is not outside of yourself. This is really introspective. Um, stones represent pentacles. Pentacles is the household. And so... When we look at the household, we look at all the extemporaneous stuff happening around us. However, this is reversed. So this is inward. It's how you are growing inward. Are you listening to the divine message mm, to grow mm, beyond what you think is what we consider what's in it for me? Is it is it always having to be selfish or are you able to grow and communicate that takes self-reflection. And that self-reflection means that you may have to change how you did things in the past with people. Why do we know it's people? Because it's it's the mirrors, it's the cups, and that's relationships. And in doing so, you'll be able to create something better. You'll be able to create things that are spontaneous and fun with the people that you really, um, ha that are, that really care about you. And, and you likewise. And so you might get to a point where you say, well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to create or it's, it, it feels a little bit, you know, maybe I'm not able to be as spontaneous because I've not had that freedom before. Um, it's hard for me to change who I, I am because like they said, old dogs, can't learn new tricks, right? However, that's not necessarily true. A dead dog can't learn a new trick. An old dog might just be a little slower. So, <laughs> and maybe it's hard to meditate. Maybe there's a fear of meditation. And maybe we're so busy at looking at what's outside of us, you know, where our money is, um, our resources, our homes, our cars, all of that, that it's hard to pay attention to the soul, the soul need, the soul desire, the soul necessity to evolve from who it was to now working with the experience that you're in now. Really interesting. If you would like to learn how to clear the negative emotions that are attached to change evolving developing and expressing you can definitely reach out to me and we can do a clearing session you can reach me on my website michela-renee.com and i'll assist you at clearing based on the card reading that is personal to you i want to thank you we have opened up the tarot application so get in we've got about five five or six more seats available. So go ahead and get in because first week of class starts in February. Thank you for joining me. It is such a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Lydia, <laughs> for mommy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be, Ashe, and I will see you tomorrow.